Welcome back to my YouTube video. Hello guys, welcome back to my new video. Um, it's been two weeks that I have not done a vlog. I was a little bit busy with two things, but today I have an idea to do a vlog. I was thinking to, to visit some museums here in Warsaw. Today it's very cold and as usual, it's very snowy here in Poland, especially in Warsaw. As you know, the museums here in Poland, they have opened uh, starting from the 1st February. It's a good idea now to visit some museums. Here in Warsaw there are a lot of museums. Um, I have not decided yet which museum I'm going to visit today. Now in the morning I'm going to work out firstly. And in the afternoon I'm going to see which museum I will see. Obviously I'm not going to visit all the museums in Warsaw in one day. Well guys, um, as I told you, I'm going to work out this morning but before going to work out, um, I think I will top up in my transport card because now it's the beginning of February actually I'm waiting for my student's card but I think it's gonna be uh, so much cheaper for 3 months of transport card here in Warsaw you pay 110 zloty now actually I have not taken my transport card so I have to pay the same amount for 1 month I think I will start with some cardio after I do some other exercises. Well guys, now I'm working out with my friend. Hi. <laughs> Hi. guys um, the training is done now I will go to Biodoranka it's a famous supermarket here I will buy a few things to eat then I will go home see you Just 
came back in my district. I will have my lunch. Well guys, um, I have just prepared my pierogies. That's my favorite dish after the gym. Well guys, now I'm going directly to check the bus. Uh, 162 and uh, firstly I'm going to Wilenska Gallery Wilenska Galleria as they say here in Poland I'm gonna meet a friend there we are going to drink a coffee there then after as I told you direction to a museum so see you guys well guys um, me and my friend we decided to go to the Vodka Museum it's not too far from here so uh, it will be my first time I've never been there we are going to discover what's going inside well guys now we are next to the museum um, Inside the museum, we are in the entrance. We bought the tickets. So that more, I will speak during the tour. So right now we can try the stuff. Okay. Shall we? Thank you. Thank you. My mówiliśmy, że ona ma charakter. Związałem się z polską wódką w latach 50. Pamiętam zapach. Wywiad z dziennikarką. Ona mnie tak jakoś przy this is a little bit of the theory. Here we can learn something. We started that journey here in 8th and 9th century when Arabic scholars came to the Europe with their alembics. Alembics were tools that they used to destillate. In those times, they destillate from wine. Uh, they believe they're um, for the Catholic Church. But thanks to them, uh, we can say that we have the first translation of that secret book to Latin and with them knowledgeable that they are poisonous. But about those, of course, we'll speak more during the tour, obviously. Uh, the best knowledge about how to distillate was in the German's land, and from Germans, Polish people learned how to distillate in science. We believe that this is the right direction and the right map. Probably somewhere in Russia is exactly the same map with exactly the opposite directions. And to be honest with you, I have to say that neither the Polish people, but here represents how the traditional Polish grains look like. Mostly because we think that the young citizen from Poland probably don't know how such a Polish grace look like anymore. Uh, to be honest with you, when I started working here, also didn't know. But this in the end is barley. It, that potatoes we choose to make Polish vodka have much more starch in it. So they are not usual potatoes. Or after that, then you can also eat it. That was in the 17th century. Right now, it's known as kulawka. Uh, here you can see kulawka. Kulawka in Polish was a, a glass that didn't have legs, so you have to drink everything which you have in those at once because you cannot uh, waste the alcohol, obviously. Uh, do you maybe know sanguine and your element will be air? If you have much more phlegma, you will be phlegmatic, your element will be water. Those elements things were important because we have diet according to those things. Diet that should help you to be more in the golden middle, in the balance between your mind and body. So the treatment was that you have to go across of your element. So for example, for phlegmatic, the best way to be much more health was to eat much more fire things, more spicy things. And I'm telling you about that because vodka back then was treating like water or fire. So it's nothing bad for phlegmatic to start up. All the city of industrial distillation in Poland was Gdańsk, Poznań, Kalisz and Kraków. That was the time when Gdańsk started to be really well known from something which is called Gdańska Vodka. And it's Johann Pistorius, and this is quite important thing for industry uh, spirit also in Poland. I can say it was as important as ideas of Anna's coffee for whiskey industry in Scotland and then in Ireland. Why it was so important? Final product, we can say that was spirit because it had to 80% of alcohol, and that apparatus uh, was making that ink, but I will back to that one. Uh, then we have Kasprowicz from Gniezno, Kantorowicz from Poznań, Baczewcy from Lwów. Potocy from Weinzut and Wilkenhausen from Starogard Dysk. When you touch the bottle, you can see the story. 
all day and all night. But so it was not enough for the Russian soldiers. So Russian government counted it really probably cheaper for them to build. stage also agriculture distillers are paying taxes producers of alcohol are buying the spirits and they went with that their own rectification plan rectification is also quite a huge change we really want to believe that thanks to that definition of polish vodka protected geographical location in the future it will be as important for our industry as it was in the past Time before the Second World War uh, in Poland. Uh, maybe interesting bottle would be Dutch cherry vodka, uh, cherry cordial vodka, because uh, this is the label that Mr. Pisunov during the movie said that he makes some kind of the mistake on the label, but we still don't know where is the mistake. Mr. Pisunov said that he will never say anyone where is the mistake because this is his secret. And also, as a guide here, is walking his daughter and she also don't know where it is. Uh, that vodka that I was making in Gdansk in the past, called Wasser vodka, you can still see it here. Uh, you can still see that you can see uh, that um, flakes of gold in the um, bottom of that, uh, of that bottle. Here you can see bottle that was produced here in that factory in 1944. It was also a really important year. that you have to drink with every person on the party the best way will feel looking each other into eyes in the region near to the Tatra mountain whole party is drinking just for the one glass so it took really long because you have to wait for it and have a glass in your hand uh, which is quite old polish customs is from the uh, old polish times we believe that uh, uh, if somebody don't want to drink more alcohol we have to force that person to drink much 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 more of the alcohol and yes we are still making that one in poland Stoja, ona jest z nami 5 lat, 6 w tym momencie, tylko i wyłącznie. Pszenica tu i wyłącznie z Bieszczad, najczystszego w Polsce i chodzi o całość. Okej, uh, okay, so the first one that we are going to try, the one from the Red Hot Pace Park Complex, and hard to pin down what exactly what do you feel? Because the first and the, the third and the second, I usually describe as sweet. When it comes to the first one, it's usually a little harder. W sensie dla mnie ta pierwsza jest o wiele bardziej złożona, kiedy dwójkę i trójkę jestem w stanie sobie określić gdzieś, gdzie ona mnie rozgrzewa, gdzieś, gdzie mi daje smak, tak jedynka jest troszeczkę zmiana. Mm -hmm. uh, jak powinniśmy degustować? How we should taste at all? First thing we need to, to grab the glass more or less like this. Wodka. Uh, proszę tylko pamiętać, że tak. Uh, there is a funny thing about the stoja. This vodka usually tends to give you much less spiritual notes and only then we can swallow. There is some water for you to grab, but please do not drink water right after. The PM is at a spa, because we can get, uh, we can neutralize every kind of taste that we get. Nic nie poczujemy właśnie, tak? Przynajmniej dwie, trzy sekundki po przełknięciu wódki nie popijemy. So, let's have some fun. The first one, na stoja. Na zdrowie. So much better than the ones that I have tried before. Uh, I will never describe this vodka as harsh. Not uh, to say that the third one I would describe as harsh. It's a little bit more downstairs feeling yeah. of heat. You can have some very nice, but I'm not that much there. Oh yeah. No, I need to taste the best of the ones. I'm going to share with you. Sadly, I cannot taste with you every three of them. Yeah. Yeah. I will be crawling out of here. Actually, actually, the end of the day will be... You know. Yeah, very good end of the day, but <laughs> the next day would be a little bit harder. Yeah. Uh, so as I said, mellow, a little bit more thick, it stays in our... When you use potato vodka for this combination, they want to uh, be that strong. You can feel the proper combinations of the vodka. Well guys, um, I think that's the end of the video. I hope you like it so much. Um, that was my first experience in a museum in Poland. And surely it will not be the last one. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and don't hesitate to share it with your friends. Bye.